What's up guys, Grimmer. Playing some Shaman Cleric. And I'm not very experienced on Shaman, but one thing I do know is I do not need to leave my healer very much. I need to stay as close to my healer as possible and do not line a sighting. We are in the Black Garden with a couple of my guildies. Let's hammer away on this guy here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right behind me. Alright, I've seen you. The jumping around stuff doesn't work, but whenever you... Whenever you port away from me, I... I can lose you sometimes. But, uh... Dang, Dot. With two of my guildies here, uh, as you can see, Jantra is right in front of me. Which he is going to be taking care of this crew with heals. Since we don't have any other healer, we have to provide one ourselves, I guess. And then we got Chebik, which Chebik is somebody that has been in the guild for a good while and also used to uh, group up with me a lot whenever I live streamed. Uh, yeah, whenever I was leveling up my characters, Chebik was grouping up with me and entertaining the crowds with with the live stream. Uh oh. Okay. Apparently, I guess this is... Okay, I guess that's a marksman and he thought jumping around helped him. Which, there is ways to jump around that does help you. Such as, uh, if you're jumping away from somebody and uh, turning around and shooting them in midair. That is a good way to jump and be effective. The, but what, you, what is pretty pointless about jumping around is whenever people just like run in a direction jumping around or you know, just run catacorn because you can still shoot people like that. See, look at that guy. He's just backpedaling. He's backpedaling and jumping. There is no point to that at all. Absolutely no point. And I don't know. I have a, a rather high level of bloodthirst for people that jump around pointlessly. For some reason, I love killing those people. Oh, I seen a bow in his hand. What is it? All archers on this team? Is all okay? He's just gonna let me beat on him. Oh, he's gonna be slow too, so I can just circle strafe around him, hit him in the back. Okay, did this guy ever even hit me? <laughs> well, he dotted me up. That's for sure. But, yeah, um, you do not want to stay stationary like that to where people can just run to your back every time and you're not hitting them. But, this is about staying close to my healers, that's for sure. I mean, I noticed Jontra ran out there to help me out just in case I got in trouble. And uh, it's just good gameplay to never get too far away from your healers. And see like that guy, he was trying to lure me out there. I'm not going to take the bait because if I do, he will probably kill me. And uh, there's times for being brave and there's times for being conservative. Because... If I ran out there and one of his buddies jumped out at me and I don't have my healer near me and I don't have hardly any escapes as the Shaman build. Which I'm probably not playing Shaman uh, the optimal way. I, I got this build, uh, somebody linked it in the comments on one of my previous videos and it's to... Uh, Schwarzenegger's uh, build. He made a YouTube video that basically just showed the build and that was it. He didn't say how to play it. He didn't say anything really. 
it was just here's the build and figure it out so that's what I've been doing is just figuring it out I guess and it's uh, he only provided like three buttons so it isn't too hard but you kind of wonder how many times do you hit the dot you know should you only hit it once and then switch to your main spam and then hit the other dot and then switch back and forth or what you know you kind of kind of do have to figure it out if you're not real experienced with shaming yet which that's the whole point of builds uh, build videos is to teach people how to do the stuff and, and uh, his video was only doing half the job I guess but got to be real appreciative they uh, get did a video at all about it that way we have something to work off of but any of you real experienced shaming players let me know. Let, let me know uh, how to play this build the best way and stuff. Because I noticed that uh, it's a really good dueling build. I mean, Shaman in general. Uh, it's usually what people run around with whenever they're uh, doing their dailies on, on their cleric. Because uh, the PvP dailies, if they get attacked by somebody, most likely they'll be able to... Uh, beat them since it's such a good dueling spec but I don't know I haven't had too much success with one on ones with it because I'm not playing it right probably but oh well if you guys know a better way to play it or how I should be playing it or whatever teach me teach me your way so I can make a build video about it teach everybody you know Get the shame and love going. Well, it looks like this is a quick war front. Our guildies did an awesome job. And if you guys enjoyed this war front, be sure to hit the like button. Yeah, we did good. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow.